the last several weeks, the world has changed with the coronavirus, and people are going home to work. However, we're used to working in the office. We're used to working in our retail shops. And now we have to go home and keep our businesses and lives going. Well, today I'm going to give you 10 strategies to help you to succeed while you're working at home. So stick around. Hey, it's a Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. Welcome back to another Leaders and Communicators, and I'm here to help you defy the odds in life, leadership, and public speaking. And right now, all that is blending together because we're all home right now trying to figure out how to do life, leadership, and public speaking from our home offices. And for many of us, we've never had a home office. We've never had to work from home long term. It's not easy. So I have 10 strategies to help you succeed while you're working at home during this crisis. As I go through this today, give me a like, give me a share, give me a comment, but most important, give me a comment down below and give me some questions, some feedback. Let's make this a dialogue about what's helping you to succeed as you set up your virtual office and get rolling at home. I want to help you and not just talk with you, I want to dialogue with you. I'm making this better for everybody. So let's start off with number one on my top 10 list. And these are in no particular order, however. You got to set hours. I really encourage you to make this a job. Set hours and post them online. It's easy on Facebook to do a little business sub page. It's free. And you can even post hours on there. Or if you have just a regular personal account on Facebook, pin it to the top of the page and say, these are my business hours. But post it on your Twitter, your social media, and create business hours because it's easy to stay in the office. It's easy to get caught up. It's easy to get so anxious that you have to keep going and have to keep going. You will not function as well in your business career if your personal life is not full either. So you need to protect it from being consumed by working all the time. Post your hours. Number two goes right along with it. Set yourself a bedtime. I know. I sound like your mom and dad right now, right? (laughs) The fact is, you cannot stay up till 2 a.m. been watching your favorite show on Netflix or Amazon. It's not going to help you to get out of bed and get to work on time. I know. The commute is five minutes instead of 50 minutes now. But it's still a commute to get up, get your coffee, and get going and be ready to rock it in the morning. So, set a bedtime. Make sure you're heading to bed so you're jacked up and ready to go in the morning. It will help you to build a new routine as you work from house. It's so easy to just stay in your PJs and work. Get up, shave, get clean, get your hair and makeup on, and make it a business day. The third one is Get up and exercise. It's so easy to stay stationary and glued to your chair. I've done it myself. You get wrapped up in something and you're going at it and you don't want to stop and you realize seven hours later you're glued to your chair. You need to stay physically strong. You need to stay in physical shape. Right now there's snow, there's rain, there's bad weather. We can't just get outside all the time. And with right now social distancing, We want to make sure we're taking care of ourselves. So get up. Exercise. You have that little step counter on your phone? Do some laps around the house. Do some chores. Do some things to get you moving. Or get on the exercise bike. Get on the exercise machine and take a break and make sure you do it. The next one thing on number four on my top ten list of strategies to help you to succeed while you work at home Number four is natural light. It is so important. Photosynthesis doesn't just work on plants. It works on the human body. We need solar power. It will rejuvenate you. It will help you stay creative and energized. And just looking out the window like I'm doing right now is a powerful thing to help keep you going. Make sure, even if you have a closed office with no windows, get up. Get to the window for a while and take in some solar power. Take your laptop and sit someplace for a while and work where there's solar energy coming in. 
That natural light will help you so much. Number five, get up and stand up. More and more people are doing standing workstations at work. Now, you may not be able to bring your standing workstation at home, so do it the poor man's way. Get some boxes, get some things, and make it elevated so you're standing up and working at the keyboard. It will keep your body moving. You'll be walking and moving and shuffling. It will help you stay energized, and it will keep you from falling asleep while you look at the screen. We've all done it. We've all nodded off of the screen. By standing up, it's a lot harder to nod off at the screen. So stand up and do some work for a while. Stretch your muscles. Do some things that will keep you going while you're there. Number six on the top 10 strategies of how to succeed while working at home, have an accountability partner. I really, really encourage you. We're all home. We're all trying to figure out how to do this. We're used to working with coworkers and talking in the hallway, getting coffee together, going to lunch together, and we have a built-in accountability that we don't even realize. You need somebody now that you can talk to and say, look, I'm working on this project and I want to get it done by Friday. Can you check on me to make sure I'm doing this well enough that I'm staying on task? It's easy to take that time and play one more video game and one more of this, and one more of that, or just... I'll get to it later. Get an accountability. This is going to be something that you have in your family. It can be a spouse. It can be a son or a daughter. Or it can be someone virtually. You call on the phone. You get on a Zoom call. And you keep each other accountable to keep going together. Because we are better together. Especially at times like this. Number seven is. Take a lunch break. And don't do it at your desk. Oh my gosh. Get up out of the desk and make sure you go have something to eat. And don't bring it back to your desk, please. Oh, it's so easy to sit there and get those calories and just sit there and just munch away and drink away. You need to get up and have a lunch. Again, you have your set hours for work. Make sure you take a lunch break and actually don't do any work. Talk to your spouse, do something else, read the newspaper, or just relax and enjoy a lunch. That food, that break, will help you so much to stay on track to where you're going. Number eight, network virtually. Networking is a huge thing, and right now, so many people are thinking, how can I keep my business going? I can't get together for coffee. Yeah, you can. You need to get on the video chats. You need to keep the things moving and have your coffee, have your conversation virtually right now. You still have LinkedIn with a lot of contacts. You have Facebook that you can do Facebook video. You have Google Chats. You have Zoom. You have so many ways to do this virtual networking and keep things going. Over the last 10 days, I've had more virtual chats with new networked people. Not people that I work with regularly. With new network people because I've made a decision. I'm going to stay in touch and keep expanding my network even though... I've had to retreat and go inward. Keep expanding. Keep moving forward. Number nine is organize yourself. I've got post-it notes all in front of my screen right now of things that I'm working on, things I need to call, things I need to do, and notepads. However, I highly recommend software to help you track your progress. I'm a visual person, so I like visual things. I use a program called Trello, which is like a visual post-it notes that I can start things, add in notes, link in websites. I can do a lot of great things with this, and I can move the tasks started, partial, completed. It's a great way to keep things organized and keep things going. As you're home, as you're feeling trapped or a, a loss of movement, get something to track yourself and organize yourself to keep going forward. And number 10 on my top 10 list of strategies to help you to succeed at home, Set a timer in front of you and use it for clock management and time management. It's so easy to just get tunneled in on one thing or you get tired of that one thing and you keep beating that document and keep beating that thing and you want to get it done and you get frustrated because you don't have all the other energy and all the other stimulus that you have in a regular work environment. Instead, turn your cell phone into your clock. 
Turn it on, set a timer, you're going to work on this task for an hour, for two hours. The beeper goes off, you stop that task, you let it rest, you give your mind a rest, and you move on to something else to help you. By giving time management, it will help you to do multiple things, stay energized, and not get bogged down on those dead-end things that we all have to deal with. So, those are the top 10 strategies that help you to succeed at home. Let me hear from you today. Which of those top 10s really are going to help you most? Which one are you going to implement to help take your game and keep being productive and keep succeeding in your industry? Maybe there's another one that I missed. Which one would you add to my top 10 list today? Let me hear you down below in the comment area and let me hear what you think will be the things that would help you succeed, not just get by. Not just tread water. What's going to help you to succeed and thrive in this time when you've gone from the big world office to making an office at home and keeping things rocking and rolling forward? Let me hear from you. Until next time, I'm The Trigger. God bless. Have a great week and stay safe.